to connect your Samsung Galaxy A36 5G with your Windows PC by using Link to Windows, first we need to go to Settings, up here choose Connected Devices, and then you should be able to find Link to Windows. So let's go over here, and after that you should have an option to sign in. Of course we can also sign in using the QR code and I think this is the best way to do so. So we're gonna Actually, before we do that, I'm going to show you what we need to do on our Windows PC um, to get the QR code. So on your computer, you should be able to open phone link. You should be able to find it pre-installed on your Windows. If for some reason you don't have it, you might want to try Microsoft Store, but I believe it is actually pre-installed. And then of course, over here, we want to select that we want to connect an Android. And now you should be able to generate this QR code, which expires in 10 minutes. So now on our phone, we want to select that we want to sign in using the QR code on our PC. We want to allow Link to Windows to take pictures and record videos so that we can use the camera. And once you have the camera enabled, you can scan the QR code. And once you scan, you should see something like this. Uh, link your mobile device to your Microsoft account. So you want to press continue. And then we are asked to enter the code. The code will be visible on your computer. So you need to simply type it over here. So let's do it like so, and then press next. And let's see what we have next. There we go. Now we need to, um, in my case at least, I need to continue to sign in by using the code that I will have on my mail. So I'm going to press send code. And of course, after that, you want to check your mail. If you have the same screen as me, just check your mail and enter the code. And then once you enter the code, once you sign in, you should be asked to um, allow notifications or actually view messages, sorry, not notifications, view messages. So we want to, of course, grant permissions to pretty much everything that the, the app is asking us in order to avoid some issues while using the phone link. And then you should see that the device linking is complete. So we can press done over here. And at the same time on our computer, you should be able to see pretty much the same thing. So we can press continue. Now you should see the welcome message to the phone link. Of course, you can select that you want to open phone link when you sign into Windows, but you can also just press get started. All right, and now over here, you should be able to find your messages, your photos, and even apps. Um, you should be able to find the status information. You can get the screen sharing option here, and you can also finish setting up notifications. So essentially, this is everything that you need to do in order to um, to connect to our phone by using uh, the phone link or link to Windows. And of course, on our phone, we might see this information that we can help uh, improve link to Windows. We can just deny that and you will open additional link to Windows settings that you can go through if you want to, of course. And that is all. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.